new videos every day. My name is Dina Young. I'm a fitness instructor from Austin, Texas, and we're here in part five of our series workout. And the goal is you can take them from one to five, or you can mix and match and do your own thing. So we're gonna start out with a little bit of a side twist right here. I'm gonna offer some modifications. So we're only gonna do this for 30 seconds. Um, and the movement is gonna be just a hip raise. So that's all we're gonna do. Modification is to have it down on one arm and to have one knee down. If you wanna take it up, I'll show you after about 15 seconds. So here we go, 30 seconds right here. So you wanna make sure to bring that hip all the way up and to take your shoulder out of the equation. So you don't wanna be sinking into that shoulder, you wanna be up and out. Ideally, your neck is long and facing the front of the room. So only 15 seconds on this modification and I'll show you the more advanced version. So if you wanna challenge yourself, take it up on one arm and take it to both feet. So up on one arm, hip dips right here with just 15 seconds and up. You wanna make sure that shoulder is out, is not coming into your head, but it's your neck is long and relaxed. Just five more seconds. Three, two, and one. And take it all the way down, switch sides. So we're gonna do that modification for the first 15 seconds. If you would like a challenge, you can go ahead and do, you know what's coming. So 15 seconds right here, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, take it up a notch. So taking up those hip dips, making sure that your neck is long, long, lean, and relaxed. Like a swan, we want beautiful dancer necks. So, just up and up, just right here for five more seconds, and then we're gonna take that more challenging version right here. So take your palm, make sure that your shoulder is in line with your palm, and that your feet are stacked. 15 more seconds right here, you can do it. Put that smile on your face. You know, it's good for you, it's good for your obliques, it's good for your arms. So, another compound movement. Just five more seconds. Four, two, and one. All right, so go ahead and grab a set of weights. And we're gonna take it to another compound movement, which is a squat and a row. So take your feet about hip width apart and then take your arms all the way out. And you're gonna squat down and then squeeze your elbows back. So we're only gonna do this for about 30 seconds. So here we go, 30 seconds right here. Squeeze. You wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together. So if you have a pencil in between your shoulder blades, it should not be able to go anywhere. You should be able to squeeze the shoulder blades and on the way up, glutes. So shoulder blades, glutes. Compound movements. Doing multiple things at once. Making sure your knees do not go past your toes for proper form. Just five more seconds right here. So squeeze your shoulder blades, squeeze your glutes. One more time, squeeze your glutes. All right. And now it's time for our last segment of cardio and our favorite, which is jump rope, right? Yeah. When we were kids, we actually enjoyed doing this. Now it's like a punishment. So if you want to take it easy, start off easy. It's only 30 seconds right here. So if you want to challenge yourself just a little bit, go ahead and bounce. Just on two feet. And if you want to add a little, another level. Last 10 seconds right here. Four, three, two, and one. Yeah, just keep that heart rate moving. It doesn't even matter if you have a jump rope. The only thing that matters is that you're moving. So thanks so much for completing the series of our five different circuits. And the idea is take them one at a time, 
go ahead and do something different, take the whole series, start it over again, or just take each video one at a time. Um, make sure to comment if you have any questions or you want me to do something else, and I'll help you out. Thanks and have a good day.